Hello again, it's from Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio in the, in the backyard with Elisa visiting from Michigan and uh, sitting over here to my left, your right. And this is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. And what, she, what Elisa wants to see and what I want to do again is something I just did yesterday for the first time, which was create escape. It was on a 16 by 20 inch canvas and this is not, but I think we're going to start by putting some colors down for the sky. And it doesn't matter if we go a little bit lower. Matter of fact, that's part of my plan. So I'm just going to use colors I like, like I said. And they're pretty random. And once I get enough color or enough paint up on this sky, like I think, I'll use my OXO omelet turning spatula to swipe them across. What else? Right there. And I have a favorite magenta that has some of the golden iridescent pearl fine in it. It's similar to the other color, a little darker. I'm going to swipe across, and if I see what's happening and I like it, then that'll be good enough. And if I don't, we'll do something else. I'm going to move a few bottles out of my way, so hopefully at least you can see what I'm doing. I also have some black gloss enamel that I kept from last night, and I added a little more to it. And I'm going to probably dip a little piece of acetate card in there. Those are the ones I used yesterday. So right now I'm going to start from a little past halfway over and I'm going to use the paint that's on my spatula to go down over the edge because if I do it later I don't get the same results and I like to have more as opposed to less. And I'm just going to tap that over the edge and then because I'm here without overly I want to say masticating it, but I'm not chewing on paint, so it's got to be a better word than that. Without overstimulating or over agitating it, I'm going to take what I can get and put it over there on the top. It's sort of like just cleaning off the edge of the spatula. And I'm resting. Very gently, I'm resting my spatula in my hand, and then I'm going to go back and put a little puddle on the edge. I'm going to even, if I see just little spots that I don't want to agitate too much with the spatula, I'm going to go ahead I'm trying to get rid of that look of canvas at the top. Maybe later if it wasn't, whoops, that was my arm. <laughs> yeah. Got to wait to do that for the first time on camera. See? Arm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm mostly covered there. I'm going to look for the heaviest part of this and I'm going to rest that spatula ever so gently, very flat. And I'm going to try and have as much paint as I can to go right over that edge. And I kind of want something else in here because I wanted to make my cityscape again. I really want some orange down there like the sun is setting. And I don't know if I can get away with it, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Lisa and I have something in common. We're both a little bit lacking in patience, so <laughs> we're going to try and find ways to do things that are pretty quick. I'm going to take my spatula after I get rid of that one mark in the sky, I, I hope. Actually, it is a sky, so whatever I get. If I get little, little clouds happening, so be it. I'm going to wipe that off on my studio rag, which is nothing more than a dampened cotton cloth. It's from a pair of sweatpants or similar, and that way I have that again. Now what I did yesterday and what I'm going to do today is put some Prussian blue along the edge of my horizon. In two places, and this time I'm going to put some gold in between. 
And what I really meant to do was use some of that black enamel, but I can still use it by dipping it in. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in sporadic places. The more, more random the pattern, the better off I'm going to be. I know that sounds really weird. And I loved this purple yesterday. And these are kind of similar colors, but not exactly. I just want to have enough paint so that when I run my little swipe card through it, that I'm going to be able to see. I'm trying to change my game up every time a little bit more, but I don't think that I need a real ton of colors. And if I'm inspired to put something in a random place, don't think it's because I thought it through and, and it makes sense to me. I'm just being random. <laughs> and you can be too. So, I didn't put any of this copper in there. And I started everything going in a diagonal yesterday. And it doesn't matter that I'm not doing that. So when I do this with the card, first of all, I think I'm going to push that right over the edge and right down the side with my finger. It's a Because I Can moment, and that is the name of my first book on the Amazon link under Show More, as per always. Got to share that information. Hey, I have a second book. <laughs> it's called Unlimited Possibilities. All right, so here goes nothing, and I've got these little cards, and I'm going to start by using a bigger card. Go figure. I want to put them someplace where they're not going to blow away. I, what, what I want to do is I want to give myself enough paint right on the card so that I can cover my end. It doesn't have to be thorough. I can swing it sideways. I can leave it sort of dripping down there because it will form colorful patterns that I'm going to like. I like this system because it creates so many layers of color. I'm not going back over things too many times, and I'm not going in a very specific one right after the next way. And I'm going to tap, when I have a nice puddle of paint on that card, I'm going to tap it right off along the edge. And then, I'm just going to take a little more. And it's just like doing a geometric. In that I'm just going to pull that right down. And I can even squish in if I want. Now, i got to put this someplace the wind won't take it. Because <laughs> it just got crazy out here. No, we're good for now. We're okay. And I kind of want to put... I want to start by taking some of that black satin. Black, it's gloss. It's not satin. Black gloss enamel. I'm not going to go all the way down. And once I get down and I notice that I've got a place I can take the residuals from, I'm going to use them. I'm very little pressure on my card. A little more paint. And we made buildings in the other scene. Going up. I don't want to destroy too many of those cells I see right there. Just going in there randomly. I can go from either direction. Anywhere I put that black satin enamel, I'm going to get cells. I can put my buildings or my building shapes in sideways. If I have more paint than I think I need, it's okay. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. My recipe is below the video. You can see it for yourself. We're just filling in. We're using the fact that there's blank canvas as an incentive to be the next place that we pull our marks. Using the random aspect of nature knows what it's doing by doing it too. Now the Prussian blue will often sell anyway. But every time I change the direction or pick up color and put it down in another place, it adds interest to the composition. 
So I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just filling in. And I want to leave this little dip because that's what's going to make it interesting. And we are almost done, which means I should tell you guys I do sell my artwork and give you a peek at that. Take this black satin. It doesn't take much black satin enamel. Somebody rang the bell. Give me a tip. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> so I can just pull those sideways. And when I'm full, we're done. And if I see any canvas, I can definitely just scrape off or let the paint residuals relax off my little card. It's like it's sort of like a basket weave. Just keep going back and forth. If you had smaller pieces or different size and shape pieces cut, it would add more interest still. And I probably have them around here somewhere, but just for just to facilitate time, we did this this way. That looked like a mesa until I made it into a building. <laughs> that was going to be good. So if I see that there's a place that I want to change, now's the time. I'll repeat little shapes to add some interest. I might want to stand back at some certain point and see if I like what I'm doing. I got pretty good instincts, so I don't want to say that everybody's going to get this right the first time. We got some wicked wind here today. And I'm going to take the torch right after I put another edge on my canvas, but we're pretty well covered. Just going to make sure that I am mostly covered. Take any paint I see. I'm not wasting any paint, which means I don't also have anything to, to fill in my little gaps. But if there's a little drip at the bottom or anywhere, I'm just going to use my finger to pick it up. I might want to fill that in tomorrow with a different color or a darker version of the color it is. I'm going to very cautiously. Release any of the patterns or the bubbles that are caught in the pouring medium mixed fluid acrylics. I did mention my recipe was under the video, I think, and if I didn't, I am now. So I have a crib sheet here, and we're just about done. Check out my all-over all print leggings and t-shirts on the clothing below the video if you have an interest in that. Let me grab my little card back because I see a couple of places. I'll just grab a fresh one. So anything that I see like that, Every time I pull something new, some new colors get exposed, and as long as I didn't torch too long, I can still get away with it. If I torch too long, then the paint gets gummy, and I can't. Like that. <laughs> now we got some texture. Alright. I should remember, and I never remember, and you should remember. <laughs> Don't torch and then try and manipulate your paint. But we are pretty much done, and this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with Elisa. Asking for your thumbs up, pretty please. We could use a little help. Check out my channel for playlists 1 through 10 and genres uh, 1 through 11. And Facebook, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors. You can use whatever you want in here. You could probably even use chain if you wanted to. It's good if you decide to do all your manipulation, <laughs> manipulations before it gets to the point where you've torched. All right, I love you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.